In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your Scala as the audio device inside Logic. This means that we'll be able to record inputs through the Scala into Logic and listen back to what's playing from Logic through either headphones or speakers connected to the Scala. Please make sure that you have your Scala connected to your Mac via USB, powered on, and then open Logic. Go to Logic Pro X, Preferences, and Audio. Select Devices, and ensure that your Scala is selected as the audio input and output device. And you're also able to change your buffer size just here. The buffer size is the time that's given to your software to process and play back the contents of your session. And when I say the contents of your session, I mean the audio and MIDI tracks, plugins and effects in this session. The benefit of using a low buffer size is that you get a lower recording latency. In other words, you get less of a delay between what you're playing or singing and hearing it back in the headphones. The downside of using a low buffer size is that you give your software less time to process the contents of your session. And this can lead to audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The benefit of using a higher buffer size is that you give your software more time to process the content in your session, meaning that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The downside of setting a higher buffer size is that you get a higher recording latency. However, we'll be tackling the issue of recording latency by using something called direct monitoring, which we'll explain later if you choose to view the recording tutorials. For this reason, we recommend that you use a high buffer size like 512, which means that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches when listening back to your audio than if you had a lower buffer size. Finally, select Apply Changes and you can now exit the preferences. Your Scala is now set up as the audio input and output device for Logic. We'll now show you how to start creating music using your Scala inside Logic.